he said, when when I cheat, I feel disgusted the next day. He didn't even say when I cheated. Like he's like, this like happens all the time. <laughs> Listen, I I don't know. <laughs> Another NBA player who gave us a little bit too, informa- too much information, Tristan Thompson, you know, hmm. another guy we talk about pretty frequently um, <laughs> this past year, not as much as last year Yeah, um, when he had the side baby. He's um, been laying low. Yeah, he has been laying low. But when you're with the Kardashian, you know, he's I don't know if he's really with Chloe at this point, but he was on the show. He was on the show and um, he was uh, he was approached by Courtney. Uh, on the show, and she confronted him on his infidelity. Just look for the mobile. Did you? <laughs> so yeah, I, 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 all I saw when I tried to find it, it was just small clips. Um, I don't. Uh, has the episode been released yet? Or yeah. they were oh, okay. I got the audio right here. Okay, cool. That's fair. The next day after you like do the deed, like, do you feel anything? Nah, why they drop that tune? For me personally, when when I when I yeah. cheat, I feel disgusted the next day. But then, so then, why do you do it again? He said he feel disgusted because he did some nasty <laughs> freak shit. That's why. <laughs> he said, he said, Yo. he said, when when I cheat, I feel disgusted the next day. He didn't even say when I cheated. Like he's like, this like happens all the time. <laughs> listen i i don't know <laughs> it's so funny she sounds just like kim mm. like they, they have the same voice and she's starting to look more and more like her too which is annoying me because the reason i liked courtney is because she didn't really look the way that kim looked really i think i don't know i think i think they still look like themselves and i feel like they all sound alike but they sound different if you hear them enough. Like mm. if you watch the show, you'll know okay. the difference. But okay. yeah, if you don't see them, yeah, they, they all fucking sound the same. Yeah, but they, um, I, I I thought this was just so weird. Yeah, like especially on the show, like put him on the hot spot. But it's weird to have that conversation with someone's like family. Yeah, like <laughs> like I I just don't I don't know. It's not going to resolve the issue. It's not like he's cheating on Courtney. Maybe exactly. if he was with Courtney, he probably wouldn't be cheating. But you know what? Damn. Let me stop. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Brian blames women. It's just Chloe's fault. No, I'm blaming him. I'm saying he picked the wrong one. Like, oh my god! But I, I just think. Um, I don't know. I, what does she expect him to say? Yeah, I it's mean, another situation where you got to lie. Like, yeah i mean courtney says you know that her and tristan they they just haven't connected and she just she's like i can't fake it and you know chloe was saying in this family if you do something to one of us it affects everyone so if you cheat on me you cheat on all of us uh, i guess that's why they shunned uh jordan woods uh, back in the day mm. um i feel like it's weird i feel like what happens between couples you know they should resolve that between themselves i'm not trying to get involved in my siblings infidelities but the kardashians they you know they have a show they you know a they, show and they live off the tabloids they exactly. put all this information out there that's kind of how they make their livelihood so yeah when you actually have a kid with one of them and you want to be a part of you know their lives and a part of what's going on i guess he feels the need to to do this i don't know man these the, are just different games yeah. different games i mean from a from a standpoint of his overall career I mean that's pretty much like done right now, isn't it? I don't. No, I don't. No. He, he's on it, the Cavs. He's now. still on the Cavs. He got signed to them again this year. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you know I, he's still young. He's like what thirty two years old. You know he he's still very successful. He's an NBA champion. Um, what we love, to, we love to to wear that title of NBA champion. Just because somebody was on a squad. Yeah, he was. And he was he was an active member of that yeah. squad. But what has he done since? It doesn't matter. He's an NBA champion. He did All it right. already. So, okay. you know, I, I give him his respect. And he, he, he had a successful career. Um, he did. He but did. Um, when it comes to this, I don't know. I've cheated in the past. And I, I can relate to him. Sometimes you feel disgusted with your behavior. You're like, oh, man, I feel guilty. I feel bad. He, you know, I feel like people think of cheating as an attack on your partner and sometimes it's just a lack of self-control or just 
you know, maybe you're lacking something in a relationship the way you kind mm -hmm. of alluded with him and Chloe. Um, sometimes you're just an NBA player in your 20s and <laughs> exactly. you just want to live your best life. I don't know. I feel like the percentage of NBA players who don't cheat um, is very low. So I feel like this is just publicized. And also it doesn't help when you do it in their house with one of the friends and also when you have kids outside of your relationship. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to ever defend Tristan Thompson. made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> made a lot of mistakes that if he maybe didn't make some of them, he could have gone on just regular cheating. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, you had to fuck somebody's friend. Mm -hmm. You had to have a kid on the side. You had yeah. to do all this extra shit. And she's still like around. So who knows? <laughs> exactly. Maybe it doesn't even matter. But I do relate to the to his feeling disgusted. But I do think it's hilarious that he was like, when I cheat, I just feel this way. <laughs> uh, but, you know, also cheating. There's there's a fun side before the disgust that happens. You know, it's just like you got to embrace it. You know, so if you're going to cheat. At least own it. And, we, and we did talk about it before. It's that moment of clarity. That's what happens. <laughs> I mean, you just can't, you can't get away from it because you're going to think about it and you're going to be like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. That yeah. was a bad idea. <laughs> but then it was good enough for you maybe to do it again later. So <laughs> it, it's an endless cycle. Endless cycle. Love, hate. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I don't know. He said therapy has helped him a lot. So hopefully mm -hmm. it helps him you know, move forward, you know, so the next time he cheats, he doesn't feel so bad. Um, <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> He's the one who's suffering, clearly. Um, yeah, I want him to be happy. <laughs> uh, shout out to Tristan Thompson. Um, I thought that was, that was a good clip, but I think he was just being honest. Um, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like everyone's had a ha put themselves in position especially being that young he's young with with money that I, he's just like i don't think people understand there's a dark side to this too mm -hmm. but um i don't know you think he's capping dude please he does not feel disgusted <laughs> maybe now like it's been so many years but before no no yeah there's no way yeah there's no way um but these relationships with these ballers, it, it's tough to maintain. You know, we talk about Larsa Pippen and, and Scottie Pippen mm -hmm. all the time, especially now that she's dating Marcus Jordan. Um, but we talked about BravoCon, which is going on, I think, in Las Vegas last week. And apparently, Larsa Pippen got mad at a Real Housewives co-star, uh, Julia Lemigova, who had the nerve to ask Marcus <laughs> Jordan to take pictures for her. Had the nerve to have her titties out. <laughs> <laughs> she got mad, apparently, because she asked him to take pictures of her um, using his phone mm. um, to make matters even worse. You know, we're the uh, sources told That's some slick shit, though. <laughs> that yeah. is definitely some slick shit. Yeah. Oh, no, just take them with your phone and then send them to me. I'll give you my number. Mm. Has that never happened to you innocently, though? Like uh plead the fifth <laughs> <laughs> it has for me like innocent come on 100 percent. what like, is innocent innocent is like you see you're i'm i'm taking pictures of people and with people and i mm. see someone standing there and i'm like oh do you want me to take pictures of you too you look really good you know i'll send them to you mm -hmm. you know i i feel like I'm just being nice in that moment. Sometimes I want to share. Sharing is caring, but it doesn't mean I have the intention. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm saying from my perspective, it could be innocent. Uh, but if somebody tries that on you more times than not, it's not innocent. Mm, so you're so you were, you're on her side on this one. I didn't say that. I think she's just shook. Uh, I think she's like, oh, he likes older women. This is an older lady. And she had her titties out at this show. So I'm I'm not happy with that damn is that is that not a good sign because this is this is her environment i like, mean you figured this lady i i have to be honest i did have to look up who julia lemongova was okay and tell me, tell me about her because i i don't even know man yeah so basically <laughs> she was actually miss ussr oh shit. in like the 80s okay um so now she's i, I think she's uh married to a woman and she's got kids and everything like that. Uh, she's 50 years old, so right in Lars's alley. And, um, you know, she's, she's obviously on this show. So she won, um, yeah, Miss USSR 
1990 and then was a runner up for Miss Universe in 1991. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Um, Hall of Fame right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hall of Fame beauty shit. So, um, do I think Larson was probably overreacting? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they've got plenty of photographers at these types of events. I'm sure somebody could have taken the pictures. And if Lars is already on edge, I don't know. <laughs> Didn't we talk about how Marcus has been allegedly out with other women? Like, there's, Did it, we talk about that? I mentioned it the last live. Okay. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I, I could see her being on edge about this. Wow. Yeah, I think she's just suffering from menopause uh, sy- oh, symptoms. <laughs> you better chill. The, the ladies are going to come after <laughs> us. I think she's just having some hot flashes, and she's just taking it out on this other woman. <laughs> it's possible. It's po- hey, listen, anything is possible, but uh, everybody apparently was saying that she overreacted. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I, I would hate to have to deal with this, honestly, like in, in a relationship, especially of such a public relationship. They have a podcast. She's on a reality TV show. Mm-hmm. She's already older than him. She should act, you know, if she's going to be old enough to be his mom, she should be more mature <laughs> in the situation. Like, <laughs> yo. <laughs> For real. That's I, crazy. <laughs> It but is. you're right. But you are right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think she was trying to seduce him, but who, who knows? Maybe she was. Uh, if she was yeah. trying to get under her skin, then it worked. Troy, what, what do you think about this? Do you think that that's actually a good a tactic people use? And what do you think about like her reaction? You know, I definitely think that that could be a tactic from like that point of view. You know, that is like a good move. But on the opposite end, like I could see myself falling for something and being like, yeah, of course, I'll take the picture and thinking it's innocent. And then your partner's like, what the hell are you doing? Like, this is a thing. And I'd be like, how is it a thing? And then when it's explained and there's all this other like underlying stuff going on, it definitely makes sense. And I think it is a move. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it, it could be it could have been innocent. I don't know. Um, I, I feel like none of these women that are on these shows of Real Housewives or Bravo stuff like MTV, ETV, whatever the hell it is. I don't think any of them trust each other or like each other. Yeah. I think they are <laughs> catty as hell. And that's what I, the show's about. Exactly. <laughs> that's what makes it popular. But yeah. uh, I think that that's probably what is happening with this. Yeah, and girls always swear that they, you know, they're like, oh, I know women more than you. Like, I know what she's trying to do. Like... It's, it's always a funny conversation. As a guy, you, you have to gaslight and be like, <laughs> no, like, believe me, it's nothing because you don't want to add fuel to the fire. You don't. You know, you have to because then partner. you're the one that got to hear it at home and for the next week. Like, and then she's going to bring it up another, again a month later. Like, remember when? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And then she has to explain it. And then you got a whole other thing. No, no, no. Yeah, sometimes gaslighting is, is the best path for guys and sometimes it's just like all right if you know it's like you have to trust your partner to not act on things at a certain point yeah. you can't control outsiders so you know you some certain things and behaviors can make you upset this borderline but i don't you know if the person doesn't have an issue that anyone's aware of don't make it an issue because now you look lame if you had to choose one mm-hmm. between larsa and julia who are you taking i'm gonna take julia yeah, me too. <laughs> Larsa looked like shit in that picture. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Looking all orange like she got the J. Trump treatment. Like, it, that's terrible. Dude. Oh, my God. Yeah. 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 Would you take Larsa or Joe Smith's wife? Jeez, <laughs> oh, that's a good segue. That's a, ju- <laughs> that's a tough one, actually. Oh, my God. I don't know. Larsa got some miles on her. According uh, to what she's saying, like, <laughs> yeah, Joe Smith, Joe Smith's wife, her miles don't count. <laughs> yeah, they don't count, and she's been out of work for like thirty years, so <laughs> she's just now getting back to the game. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. And she is back in the game, man. I might take Keisha. I might take <laughs> Keisha. In that situation. I gotta see more footage. <laughs> Subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe on Spotify. Follow on Instagram, of Twitter. TikTok, like all the apps, all the apps. We're everywhere. We are everywhere. everywhere. <laughs>